especially because the past five days we saw record-breaking heat at least and today some of our cities could potentially see that record-breaking heat once again this is going to be a live look over at cape coral you are not going to be one of those cities but you're still going to feel that heat crank up starting now and through your saturday afternoon this is the fox Four tower cam giving you a live look over at pine island road one of the areas i'm really eyeing to potentially see that record-breaking heat very similar to yesterday punta gorda we're forecasting a high of 94 degrees and that record is 95 that was set back in 1987 and tied more recently. Now, Naples and Fort Myers, your high is going to cap out in the low 90s, but not quite breaking those records that were set in the mid 90s. Like I said, though, the rest of us still going to feel the heat. Forecasting a high of 93 in Arcadia, 91 Palmdale, 91 in LaBelle, 90 in Clewiston, 91 in Immokalee, and 89 down in Marco Island. It's hot outside right now, but not quite the low to mid 90s. Right now, temperatures are sitting in the upper 70s, near 80 degrees. Very muggy outside with dew points going to be in the mid 70s. So it is very humid and will stay that way as we head through the rest of the weekend into the beginning of your work week. We do have a frontal system just to the north of us, and that's going to drive up our rain chances. High pressure building in from the Gulf of Mexico. So for now, clouds and radar sweeping across nice and clear. By about 2 o'clock today, you're going to start to see those scattered storms and showers develop. They'll be close to the coast and also through our inland areas, pushing through our inland areas through the evening hours. We're dry by about 8, 9 o'clock this evening. Quiet overnight, but we do have the potential to start off tomorrow morning with a couple of spotty showers maybe an isolated storm. Uh, these in-house models really eyeing Collier County, by the way. And then as we head through the rest of the day, like clockwork right around 2 o'clock, east of I-75, scattered storms and showers developing, pushing over to the east coast by about 6 o'clock in the evening. Quiet conditions overnight, but Monday morning, when you're sending the kiddos off to the bus stop, make sure they have the rain gear because we're starting off with spotty showers, pushing from some onshore winds right there. So if you wanted to go out on the boat for today, Today, just no advisories for you, but please keep your eye to the sky. Once you hear the thunder, it's time to go indoors. The winds coming out of the northwest up to about five knots, sees a foot or less with the light chop on your inland waters. We're also very busy in the tropics right now. We have Lee, Margo, and also tropical depression number 15. Lee is expected to make landfall later on today with Halifax going to be in that forecast cone as it moves through. It's going to be moving away from us though, so no impacts for us from post tropical storm. Lee at the moment. Also, Margo is going to be moving through the Atlantic, not impacting us and really impacting the Azores by midweek. So again, not another storm that we need to worry about. And with the five o'clock advisory for tropical depression number 15, it does show signs of strengthening by Monday into a category one storm, eventually into a category two storm, but it's staying out to the Atlantic. It doesn't look like it's impacting land. So three storms out there, nothing that we need to worry about. That allows you to focus on your seven day forecast, which means for today, highs maxing out in the low to mid 90s. Tomorrow, a very similar forecast, but we are bumping up those rain chances slightly from a 60% chance of scattered storms and showers to an 80% chance of scattered storms and showers. Lauren, thank you.